I've been challenged and challenge accepted. Uh, a friend of mine challenged me to build a, a bit of cosplay. Um, <laughs> they want me to build a centaur costume so nobody has to play back of horse so that they can just have their own horse back. <laughs> Um, this is what I have so far. I got some PVC pipe and a lot of fittings. Does it look like a horse yet? <laughs> um, I took a bunch of pictures offline of a horse. Um, I saw uh, another YouTube video of people building a centaur cosplay out of PVC pipes, and I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. And you're coming along for the ride. Buckle up. So I've decided that a good length is uh, 40 inches, um, you know, compared to a human body. Plus there's gonna be more uh, structure. So it's not just gonna be 40 inches long. That's just gonna be like the skeleton. Um, I think it'll be pretty good and look pretty good. All right, this is what I got so far. So this will be like a back plate and it'll have like backpack straps on it. Then I was thinking about attaching a belt down here so it'll be attached in two places. Then it comes up in the back and these are like the, the hips. So when this part will be attached to their leg, so when they move their leg, I'll attach the other the outside part of the horse is like to this one. And when they move their leg, this leg will move. That's all I got so far. <laughs> Does it look like a horse? <laughs> all right. Well, I decided the on the final design and now I'm gluing everything together. Still got my hips and uh, I put that back piece on it. I might reinforce that some more. I'm not sure, but if I need to later, I can just cut it and put another piece in there or something. Um, but that's all for now. Lots of glue. Yeah, I think I figured out the leg movement. I had to watch a bunch of videos about horse skeletons to find out how a horse leg moves. So that's... The movement up and down next i'm going to work on the forward and backward movement okay i think i've got it figured out so i've put a screw on the string to keep tension on this bottom joint then i put a screw up here um to whenever it hits here the string stops moving up and what I've done is I've drilled a hole in there and it comes around the pipe and up through the side. So when this screw stops here, it pulls the front of this up towards that eye and it makes the forward motion. And then I put this piece up here to keep tension on this joint so that the leg is never just straight because you know, horses legs aren't straight. And I think I was losing a little bit of the realism in the the legs just falling down straight. But I'm gonna show you a little bit of the movement. See when that, when I pull it, it starts the up motion. When the screw gets to the top of that, it starts the forward motion. Like it's taking a step. Now that I've got the legs figured out, um, I'm going to, I'm zip tying chicken wire, or actually this isn't chicken wire, this is like screen door wire. I'm zip tying it to the frame. And then I'm gonna put like insulation foam all over it. And then I'm gonna carve it into the shape of a horse. <laughs> um, but this will be the structure of it. 
so that it won't lose its shape and it has something to stick to okay so after you get your all your wire on you can start covering your wire in spray foam and that's going to be the surface of your costume or your horse or a, you know centaur or a, even if you wanted to make a deer or a wolf or something like that all right i've got a lot of the foam on there for the horse body or back of the horse anyway so you just make a chicken frame wire this is actually a screen door wire and then you just spray this foam on top of it and let spray you know some of it through the wire and it sticks on pretty good and i just attached the wire to the frame with uh zip ties so i made these little mounts <laughs> out of a coat hanger um i twisted it around this pole and this pole to give it like stability and this tape is just to cover up the the pointy ends of the wire so whoever's wearing this doesn't get stabbed it's not holding anything on really it's just for cushioning okay so after all of your foam is dry you take a like a razor knife or probably the ones that extend out extend out really far would work better but you just smooth it out like cut off the little bumps make it as smooth as possible and like shape it to the shape that you want it to be and then when you're done with that you put like a quilt batting over it and it like smooths out out even more so this is just like a preliminary smooth and then uh then you're smooth it out even more with uh quilt batting and then when you put your skin over it or your fur or whatever it'll look really good well, that's all for this video. Um, uh, I d got some pretty good progress done. Um, I have a long time to work on this, um, but I wanted to try to get as much as I could done as soon as possible. Cause I don't like to wait and have to procrastinate. You know, I don't like to procrastinate and then have to do a whole bunch of stuff really all at once. Um, and uh, so I got a bunch of stuff figured out and I, it, you know, it's going along pretty well. Um, there's definitely going to have to be a part two, possibly part three. Uh, <laughs> um, it's going to take a lot of, a long time to carve all that foam. Um, but definitely come back and check out the rest of the videos and uh, like and share and subscribe and all that stuff. Tell your friends and uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.